Nicole. He's going to make the right play. But we all know Malone pointed out in his team, you're only down 10 points. The question is now with no Jokic on the floor here, they've got to find some timely scoring as Morris. Little things right now. Morris and LeBron are basically your centers out on the floor trying to take advantage of any size advantage you may have. Up top for LeBron James. Usually to the bigs, to Anthony Davis or Dwight Howard. But we haven't even seen tonight that's and we're right. fabulous in game one. Isn't that but, something? But that's what I like about it. Why make an adjustment if you don't need to? And right now, Morris came in last game before Dwight Howard. Keep that same rotation. Shot clock down to two. Porter's got to get one up over LeBron James, and wow. he hits it. Ooh. Wow. Early part of the second quarter. Game two. Certainly not an elimination game, but has that sense of urgency for the Nuggets. Do they have a response here tonight? They have been the most resilient team in these playoffs. Porter on a nice feed. Pushed after a make, getting the foul. It doesn't go into the stat sheet for fast break points. It sure does have an effect. Offensive foul. Morris, backup point guard, finds Murray, went right through his hands. Uh, LeBron has it going. Just picked up his first assist, but he had a number of passes that end up in missed shots for the Lakers in that first quarter. It's a bullet pass to Danny Green, steps inside with Murray on him. Good defense there by the Nuggets. Here comes Murray, and now Porter lets it rip. As James with the rebound, outlet pass up ahead, Kuzma running the floor, lost him me. Well, how about that nifty dribbling by Murray? Danny Green white with him though. Murray pounded it here. Plumley finding his man in the corner, Monte Morris. See, look, you did a great job. We held Denver Nuggets to 21 first quarter points. The first game <laughs> wasn't the same. 38 points they gave up in the first. Here comes Denver in transition, high off the window in the tap-in. And 10 points off the bench for Porter Jr. Remember, he had 14 in game one. Plumley guarding LeBron James. Shot clock ticks down to seven. James waiting for some movement. He'll take the three himself. That's his spot, and he knocks it. Forget about that play real quick. 15 in game one, LeBron James. He's got 17 already. Fakes the pass. Now up top for Plumley. Plumley's active. Gets the offensive board. Morris dribbles into one. Nice little. You kind of get inside to get a better look early on. Morris gives it right back. Good pass. Good catch. Good finish. 20 of the 40 coming from LeBron. Rich. But he told you he was ticked off. I mean, he told the whole country that. So. <laughs> Maybe we should have expected yeah, him to come out this right. after. Didn't win it. I don't think he thought he was no, going to yeah, win it. I don't even think he thinks he yeah, should have won it. I think the disrespect and the fact that he only got 16 out of, what do you say, 101 uh, first place votes. So, yeah, Reg, I think it's, it's more about that. And using anything he can right now to get him motivated. Some of these people must have had some unbelievable seasons. There's Larry Bird up there with three MVPs, four runner-up finishes. Here's Plumley now. Well, he's a good passer as well. That lost the handle to Morris. Now Davis goes to the floor with him. Contest. Do what you can. Rondo. And Rondo. Oh, tough shot. Into the hands of Grant. Up ahead. Harris lost the handle. Receiver taking your eyes off the ball for a second, anticipating the hit. Just let that go. That's 10 turnovers now for Denver. Here's Caruso. No. And Howard knocks it out of bounds. Totally disrupted what Jokic was trying to do. Rattles in and out. There's Davis. Check in with Allie LaFour. She's got more on Dwight. I had a great conversation with Dwight the other day after practice about how he stayed active and ready to have that incredible game one performance we saw in this series after not playing a single minute against Houston. He said, quote, I'm one of those guys who is always prepared and always works hard. I'm always in the gym early before anybody even wakes. I think Jokic could bait him too. Right. He's smart enough to beat Dwight Howard. He just hasn't yet or doesn't know how. Now well, he'll go on the attack yeah, here and poked away. Here comes Caruso now. Grant is there, and Caruso with no fans here. It's a 9-1 Laker run. Murray got play in the fourth quarter, got into foul trouble. Jokic, Caruso trying to stick with Murray. Murray lost it, misses the three. There's Davis with a rebound. This Laker run, the 9-1 run, it's a 6-0 run with James on the bench. Take Caruso's confidence, got to be sky high right now. That's by 11, see if the 
Nuggets have an answer. There's another foul this time. Jason Kidd, those were my heroes growing up, along with Steve Nash. So to be with them now, it finally feels normal, but it hasn't been. You can't stress enough, no Avery Bradley for the Lakers. Right. Elected to stay home. So these are one of the minutes for Alex Caruso. Jokic 3 for 10. He's having a problem with that length of the Lakers and the lateral quickness. There's Porter going to the hole, and that's the dirty hold up. Did you just put <laughs> Alex Caruso and Air Jordan in the same sentence? He did, because I wanted to hear your response, <laughs> Legend. I did. It's Caruso for the three. three. Throw it out there, C-Web. <laughs> <laughs> Nuggets have not scored a... Versus Utah and versus the Clippers. What a weapon for the Lakers to have as well. Rondo fakes it behind the back. Now you pass. Murray left open for three. Caldwell Pope was late to get there, but Murray can't cash it in. Now it's Davis with the ball in his hands. We got a whistle. That's an off. Lakers have 12 turnovers and yet still up by 14. Jokic. And he is foul. Approaching the three-minute mark of the second quarter. Davis with Murray on him. Just backs him down. Millsap there for help. Good ball movement here. Caldwell Pope hit one made three, however. Jokic has Rondo on him. The help comes. Jokic gives it up. Harris in the corner. Knocks it down. Three different teams trying to make that happen with the Lakers now. Nice play by Grant, and Millsap saves it, but right into the hands of Howard. Caruso for three. And Millsap secures. Ten-point game, Denver down. Approaching the two-minute mark. Millsap. Millsap, no, Howard. That's the versatility of the Lakers. Lakers led by 11 at the half in game one. And... Hard to make that run. Right. The Lakers have just been, been dominating. They got to give me give me something positive to say. Lakers have made all nine of their free throw attempts here tonight. Long three up for James, and that I want to see him getting that pick and roll and, and, and have a couple heat checks. He, if anyone, he's capable of having a big game. And there's the two-man game with Murray and Jokic. They get the switch inside to Jokic and Caldwell Pope. That's a huge number, but the Lakers missed ten of those 24 and they almost kept Denver in the game in game one with all those free throws missed. Davis will turn around no and fly it high as Harris for the rebound. Big possession here for the Nuggets. It's an 11-4 Denver run. Trying to tack on one more as we go under a minute. Howard on Murray gets by him. Murray to Harris and that's deflected by Caruso. What a defensive play. Caruso finishes with a this halftime report coming away in just a moment as Murray can't hit it. Millsap is there. And LeBron James back at the controls. Davis kicks it. Caruso waiting for Howard. And now they go to work and they'll fire away. Davis and he is fouled hard. Let's just jump off the ship, keep it going and you got to give them credit right now. Big bucket, big possession right now for Denver. Yeah, they're down 12. Got a whistle. Chance at the last shot for the Lakers if they want it. Torrey Craig re-enters to defend LeBron James here. And James gives it up. Davis, a little sidestep. Three is up and an air ball. And that'll take us to the end.